Hello, this is the Alchemy Workshop, and this video I'm going to do another Parkside brand review. That's the brand from Lidl. Um, I did it one while back. They have another brand called Silvercrest. Silvercrest is also a, it's probably the same place it's all made at, but it's it's owned by Lidl. Uh, they make more like household stuff, where Parkside is more like workshop stuff and tools. Um, Parkside in general makes pretty good stuff. I've got quite a bit of that stuff. Anyways, I picked this. It's uh, the Parkside PKH 2000B1. It's basically a space heater. Ceramic uh, heights, ceramic heights cabeza, which means uh, heat blower. And it's really just a small fan with a ceramic element to heat. Uh, it was 25 bucks. Uh, a while back, my video back, I had to review the Silvercrest. It's more for like a bathroom heater. And the longer I've used it, the more I realize it, it just, it's, sucks for this room it doesn't do enough um, I'm in my workshop and this is an old barn it gets cold um, really cold and to run that thing even running it for a long time it does not heat up the room it's only good if I'm sitting right in front of it and even then a few meters away the fan was not strong enough on that silver crest this one up here so I gave it a kind of decent review but I take that back it sucks I, I'm tempted to return that thing it's pretty much useless in here uh, this is not much of an improvement, to be honest. It's got its pros and cons. Um, it's small. It's made more for like a workshop environment, mostly metal, some plastic construction. It does not get hot, even when you touch the screen. This was just running. It gets a little bit warm, but it's not where you're going to burn something or start a fire. Um, very simple construction and pretty simple to operate. You don't need the... comes with an instruction manual that I hope you won't really need because it's just a couple switches. Um, so it heats up fast. That's the pro it's switchable. So the first setting, this first flame is 1,100 Watts and two flames is 2000 Watts, which is, takes a lot of electricity. So this sucks. Um, but it's been freaking cold here. So I needed this to be able to work in here. Uh, it's very small, it's lightweight. Um, some of the cons about it, the cord is not very long. It is... 1.80 meters long. So it's not even six feet long, like five feet long. Um, for a workshop thing, it would be nice to put a longer cord on it. And if they would have put like another plug on the back, you know, so you can, you're not hogging up. That makes, I don't know, they did it on their workshop light, which was cool. The one with the Bluetooth. All right, so very, very simple. We have the switch here and the thermostat. Um, first switch mode is a fan. And that fan is very weak. There's This would be like in the summertime, that would do nothing. So it's kind of very, I would never use that. Second switch is the 1,100 watt. That gets warm, but when it's this cold, it's not enough. It's like by the time you're like a few inches away from it, it's just the air is already turning cold. Um, so you got to go to the one that wastes a lot of electricity. And... That gets hot quick, and in front of it, it's not going to, like, burn your hand. I can hold my hand in front of it, but it's nice and warm. If it's, like, in your face, after I hold my hand for a while, it's getting hot, yeah. Um, it's okay, but it's such a small area, and I mean, let's see if I can show you how close I am, and then, like, from once I get to about here, I'm starting to, like, not feel much, and that's maybe, like, half a meter away. You don't really feel much at all. So, this thing is not, like, when it's cold... It's not going to do a whole lot except a good place to just go warm up your hands or move it to your feet or something. You can't warm up your whole body with it. It's too small. Uh, I mean, it's better than nothing. Without this, I would probably be miserable, more miserable. It's been really cold. But, I mean, when I'm working out here, my hands get cold. That sucks. Uh, so that's a good way to just kind of warm up my hands, warm up my face, warm up my feet. But I can't do all three at the same time. It's like once I, when it's cold, I'm getting my hands warm, and then my feet are getting cold. Get my face warm, and then my hands are getting cold. So, uh, it's a small little gadget. It for 25 euro, okay, it's good. I'm kind of worrying about what it's going to do to the electric bill because prices have gone up like crazy here. But hell, uh, better than nothing. I mean, I do have a fireplace in here. Sorry, this place is a mess. I'm still organizing. Uh, oven, but I mean wood prices have gone up crazy. It's really hard to find wood Everyone went on like a panic spree and up the prices all because of Ukraine and Russia supposedly 
So I've been getting firewood here and there and tearing apart wooden pellets to burn, which don't last long. Um, but that fireplace, it takes a long time. It's a big room to heat up the room and takes a lot of fuel. So this is great to just switch on real quick when my hands are going numb or something. Um, it does the job for that, but it's not going to heat up a big room. Maybe in a really small space, it's going to help. But um, it's kind of, you know, it's designed, like I said, the park side stuff is kind of like workshop related stuff. Um, you'd have to have a really small workshop for this to heat it up. And of course, this uh, workshop it used to be an old barn. The windows are old. The doors are old. It's got crappy insulation. So a lot of cold air comes in here. Anyway, I regret, I think I paid like twice the price for that one. And it's, this works better for this situation. And it was half the price. So I, I, I don't know if it's too late to take that one back. I have no use for it. It just kind of wastes electricity. The only cool thing about it is it's got a thermostat <laughs> that I can see what it is here. And also on this one, we have the thermostat. So once you get to us, it'll shut off by itself once it reaches a certain temperature. It's not super loud. It's not super quiet. It's a little bit... Like, when it's right in your face, it's kind of annoying. The sound is kind of loud. Um, it is adjustable. We've got these little plastic screws here to adjust the angle it tilts at. This heating element does not, like, some of them I've had that would glow red. It does not. So, it's hard to know if it's on, if there's sound or something. It's, that kind of makes it easy to forget that it's on, which I don't like. I wish there was a, there is a light on the top, but if it's angled back, you're not going to see that. Um... Well, that's it. The 25 euro little space heater from Lidl. Thanks for watching.